ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ವಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಡಿ ಸಮಭ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಂ ಭುಜಜೇ ಪವರೋಗಿಣ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಅಪಾರ ಕರುಣಾಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನಧಂ ಶಾಂತೂಪಿ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ವಹಂ ತದಂದೇವಾಸಿ ವರ್ಯಂಚ ಜೀವೋದ್ಧಾರಣ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ಗುರು ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ವಹಂ ಚತುರ್ದಶ ವಯ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಸನ್ಯಾಸು ಸುಮಹಾಮತಿ ನಮಿ ಶಂಕರಾರಂಭಂ ಶಿವಜೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ವಾಚನ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಾಂಚೀ ಕಾಮಕೋಟಿ ಪೀಠಾಧಿಪತಿ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣಯೋ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಸುಂದರಿ ಸಮೇತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚಂದ್ರಮೌಳೀಶ್ವರ ನಮಃ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಮದಗಿಲ ಭೂಮಂಡಲಾಲಂಕಾರ ತ್ರಯಸ್ತ್ರಿಂಶತ್ ಕೋಟಿ ದೇವತಾ ಸೇವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಾಮಾಕ್ಷಿ ದೇವಿ ಸನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಏಕಾಂಬರನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾದೇವಿ ಸನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀ ಹಸ್ತಿಗಿರಿನಾಥ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಪರಮಾಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಸತ್ಯವ್ರತ ನಾಮಾಂಕಿತ ಕಾಂಚೀ ದಿವ್ಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರೆ ಶಾರದಾ ಮಠ ಸುಸ್ಥಿತ ಅತುಲಿತ ಸುಧಾರ ಸಾಧುರ್ಯ ಕಮಲಾಸನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ದಮ್ಮಿಲ್ಲ ಸಂಫುಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾ ಮಾಲಿಕಾ ನಿಶ್ಚಂದ ಮಕರಂದ ಚರಿ ಸೌವಸ್ತಿಕ ವಾಂಗ್ನಿಗುಂಬ ವಿಜೃಂಭಣಾನಂದ ದುಂದಿಲಿದ ಮನೀಷಿ ಮಂಡಲಾಂ ಅನವರದ ದ್ವೈದ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿನೋದರಸಿಖಾ ನಿರಂತರಾಲಂಕೃತೀಕೃತ ಶಾಂತಿ ದಾಂತಿ ಭೂಮ್ನ ಸಕಲ ಪವನ ಚಕ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾಪಕ ಶ್ರೀಚಕ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾ ವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಯಶೋಲಂಕೃತ ನಿಖಿಲ ಪಾಷಂಡ ಚಂಡ ಕಂಟಕೋತ್ಪಾಡನೇನ ವಿಶದೀಕೃತ ವೇದ ವೇದಾಂತ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಜನ್ಮದ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾಪಕಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಂ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವ್ರಾಜಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಶಂಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಂ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನೆ ಸಿಂಹಾಸನಾಭಿಷಿಕ್ತ ಶ್ರೀಮಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸಂಯಮೀಂದ್ರಾಂ ಅಂತೇವಾಸಿ ವರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಮಜೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ ತದಂದೇವಾಸಿ ವರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಮಶಂಕರ ವರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಶ್ರೀಪಾದ ಚರ್ಣಯೋ ಶಪ್ರಚಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ಬದ್ಧಂಚ ನಮಸ್ಕುರ್ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಕಾಂಚಿ ಕಾಮಕೋಟಿ ಸೇವಾ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಮಿಡ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲೈವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಷಾಢ ಆಡಿ ಮಂತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಕ್ಷ ದ್ವಾದಶಿ ಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಕಾಮಕೋಟಿ ಪಾರಾಯಣ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಚಾತುರ್ಮಾಸಿಯಂ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಿಮಾ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಹರಿಹರಂಜಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಮಕೋಟಿ ಪಾರಾಯಣ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಲಹರಿ and uh, Adi Shankar Bhagavad Pada Acharya, to name a few. Um, he is from Bloomington, Illinois. Um, he has done Veda Adhyayanam, well-versed in Sam- Samskritam, and is very involved with Prachina Dakshina Sampradaya Pravachana Pandati. Um, so, let's all get immersed in Guru Bhakti today. Hari Om. Namah Parvati Patai Har Har Mahadeva ನಮ ಪ್ರಣವಾ ಶುದ್ಧಮೂರ್ತ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತೋ ಮಾತುಲೋಯ ಜನನೀ ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಳ ಜನಕ ಶಂಕರೋದೇವ ವಂದೇ ಕುಂಜರಾನ ಜೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮಮ ವಾಚ ಮಿಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯಖಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಧರಸ್ವಧಾಂ ಅನ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಹಸ್ತಚರಣ ಶ್ರವಣ ಸ್ವಗಾದೀ
ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾನಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಅಪಾರ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಜಾನದ ಶಾಂತಿಣ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುಂಬಹಂ ಹರೇ ರಾಮೇತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣೇತಿ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಸದಾ ಲೋಕಕ್ಷೇಮಾಯ ಕುರ್ವಂತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಶರಣ ಭಜೇ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಕ ಶರಣ ಭಜೇ On occasion of this Guru Purnima, we have this opportunity to think about the greatness of Guru and the Guru Parampara. Sureshwaracharya in his Manasolla Savartika pays homage to Guru in a very beautiful way. unique verse ishvaro guru ratmeti murti bheda vibhagine ishvaro guru ratmeti murti bheda vibhagine vyomavat vyapta dehaya ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ಯೋಮವದ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮ ಐ ಪೇ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಗುರು ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದಾಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗುರು ಹೂ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತ ಸರ್ವಶರಣ್ಯಾದಿ ಅನಂತ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಗುಣ ಸಂಪನ್ನ ಈಶ್ವರ ಶುದ್ಧ ನಿತ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧ ಸತ್ ಚಿತ್ ಆನಂದ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಲಕ್ಷಣಯುತ ಆತ್ಮ ಗುರುಶ್ಚ is of the nature of one's own self the guru who is able to impart the teaching as, as to the true nature of the self and ishwara who blesses the guru and the shishya for this knowledge to be imparted this process of imparting knowledge comes through a parampara we have a beautiful parampara in the advaita tradition starting from ishvara himself sada shiva samarambham shankaracharya madhyamam asmadacharya paryantam bande guru param we salute this guru parampara starting from parameshwara himself the adi guru dakshinamurti sada shiva samarambham and then comes shankaracharya who was shankara shankara sakshat who was just an apara avatara of shankara bhagavat pada acharya and the existing acharya who is before us who is none other than shankara bhagavat pada acharya who is ishwara himself we salute these three great acharyas but the tradition is of a lot of teachers narayanam padma bhuvam vasishtham shaktin cha tat putra parasharan cha 
व्यासम शुकम गौड़पदम महांत गोविंद योगींद्रमथास्य शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तम तोटक वार्तिकस्मदुरो Here is the Guru Parampara. This is the Parampara starting from Ishwara himself. So we cover Ishwara and the Guru, and the third was Atma. Atma, Atma Prasada is needed for us to even realize this Guru Parampara and the Guru. Because our eyes have to open to be able to see the Guru first. Guru Himself gives us the ability to be able to see the greatness of the Guru. Acharya expresses the same sentiment in a, another verse, Sri Shankar Bhagavat Pada Acharya. नित्यानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंद्वातीत त्रिगुण रहित तत्व सेक्ष्य सद्गुरु A guru is one who revels in his own self. Brahmanandam is the nature of the guru. What is Brahmananda? A small lesson in Vedanta. we experience pleasure and pain all the time any experience that we have can be put in the line between pleasure and pain for us and how is this experience possible for us this experience is something the mind gives us through the input that it receives from the sense organs with the previous vasanas that we already have because the same object is pleasurable for one and painful for another it is just the purva vasanas and the input that comes through the indriyas that makes this experience pleasurable or painful for the mind say if the mind is not there for a certain amount of time a fraction of a second of a time what happens this is very unique because See, there are people who train for Olympics. They would have spent their entire life trying to prepare for that one day where they have to perform. They put all their effort. Finally, get there. They perform and then they win. At that point, what happens? there is an absolute aha moment as they call it where the person goes without any thoughts and experiences the pure self for a fraction of a second that is ananda dwandva like sukha and dukha doesn't exist for ananda because ananda is the swarupa we also experience that in a very very minuscule way because say if you are have to procure an automobile you do a lot of research look at a lot of brands 
spend day in and day out analyzing them, reading a lot about them, meeting a lot of people who have already owned these and getting their experiences, going to the internet and to YouTube and to another all kinds of resources, meeting a lot of uh, salesmen in the uh, all these uh, places where they sell cars and so on. And finally, what happens? You get into a dealership and book a car that you find, decide, get it. And then, then there is a moment where the mind becomes thoughtless because all these effort ends at one point of time. And that is a minuscule of what uh, Jnani experiences all the time. Jnani does not have a mind. As Ramana Bhagavan says, what is mind after all? It is just a samuha of vrittis. If there is no manovritti, there is no mind at all. A guru is one who is able to process all the things that the indriyas process without the ownership that I of the mind. So he always owns himself as the self. Brahmanandam. Okay. He is reveling in the self. How does that help me? Paramasukadam. He is able to impart that knowledge to you as well and tell you that you are non different from the self either. He is able to give you that Paramasukha. Brahmanandam Paramasukhadam. How is he able to give that? Kevalam Jnanamurtim. He is of the embodiment of Jnana or the teaching. Because only through Shastra that this Jnana is transmitted from a Guru to a Sishya that makes this Parampara as we saw. Kevalam Jnanamurtim. It is a very beautiful way to look at Guru. Because when somebody looks at Rama, they say, Ramo Vigrahavan Dharma. What is Rama made up of? The material that Rama is made up of is just Dharma. Bhagavan Krishna is made up of just Prema. Guru is made up of just Jnana. Kevalam Jnana Murtim. How do you identify that? Arjuna asked this question. Stita Pragyasya Chaka Bhasha Samadhistasya Keshava. How do I identify a person of this steadfast wisdom, this Atma Jnana? Dvandvatitam. A physical characteristic that he exhibits is that he is beyond opposites. He transcends the dvandvas, sitoshana, sukha, dukha, agamapayino, anityaha, tam, itikshaswa bharata, says Bhagavan. Because these dvandvas are impermanent. A guru knows that and acts accordingly and goes beyond the dichotomy of this world, dvandva, between pleasure and pain. Dvandvatitam. If he goes beyond that, then he is equal to that of the vast sky. Gagana sadrisham tattvamasya dilakshyam. His very focus is in the unity of the self with that of the supreme. Tattvamasya dilakshyam. Yekam. After that knowledge is attained, only he exists. Nityam, he is beyond time and space. He is ever existing. Guru is a tattva. That is the reason why when somebody gets inspired about a guru who is not physically present here now, still that guru tattva is a nitya tattva. Leave out atma jnana. Even when somebody wants guidance, 
Mahakariva is not there in his physical form now, but there are a lot of people who see his guidance today and then receive the guidance. Why? Because it is a Nitya Tattva. Vimalam Achalam Sarvadhi Sakshi Bhutam is Vimala, is pure. A Guru is the only pure entity in this world. Achalam, he does not have a problem of space being available in one place versus not in another place. That is why we are able to build a temple across the sea to Guru. Because he, did, he is always there everywhere. Sarvadhi Sakshi Bhutam. He is there as the Sakshi of this Buddhi. That Chaitanyam that propels this Buddhi of the Sadaka, that is the Guru. Bhavatitam. Bhava, Bhavatitaha. He is beyond all the vrittis that happen in the mind that, and all the bhavas that come in. Because he is the very consciousness. Like all the colors that opt appear on a movie screen, but still the screen is pure white. It never participates in the movie ever. But the movie cannot exist without that of the screen. Atma is like that. Guru is also like that. Ishwara is like that. Bhavatitam Truguna Rahitam. He does not participate in this play of Sattva Rajas Tamas. Sadgurum Tamnama. Having received the guidance as to what is the Swarupa of Atma, Bhagavad Padacharya salutes his Guru with this teaching incorporated as the Guru Stuti. It is so beautiful. Dityanandam paramasukhadam kevalam jnana murtim dvandvatitam gagana sadrisham tattvamasyadilaksham yekam nityam vimalam achalam sarvadhi sakshi bhutam bhavatitam triguna rahitam sadgurum tam this Tadguru is a person, an Acharya in front of us. And this Acharya received that wisdom from a previous Acharya. Who received it from a previous Acharya? So where did it all start? That is where we saw Narayanam Padma Bhuvam. It started from Narayana himself. Sadashiva Samaram. It starts from the Trinamurti Parameshwara. Basically, they are one and the same. That is the reason why the Guru Parampara starts from either one. Narayanam Padma Bhuvam Vasishtam Narayanam Padma Bhuvam Narayana is the Adi Guru. But in Bhagavatam, a very beautiful way of calling out this Adi Guru was done by Gajendra. Chakram <laughs> Giramaha Krichrate Narayana Akila Guru Bhagavan Namaste Narayana Akila Guru Bhagavan Namaste As you know the story of Gajendra, he, he a, a crocodile who really received a curse from the Devala Maharshi was in a pond and he catches hold of the leg of Gajendra. These are extraordinary creatures who lived in a time that was much past than what we could imagine. And the Bala 
that they had was very very different so neither the crocodile was going to give out nor the elephant was going to was able to pull its uh, itself out everybody left it left gajendra and walked away at that point of time gajendra had that knowledge as to who he was and who he really is the gajendra stuti is so beautiful in shrimad bhagavatam Om Namo Bhagavate Tasmai Yatae Tachidatmakam Purushaya Dibijaya Padeshaya Bidhimai This is how he starts. Om Namaha Bhagavate Thadgunya Paripurana He Bhagavate Tasmai namaha on to him. Yataye ta chidatmakam in whom this universe has its adhishtana. Purushaya adi bijaya who is the very seed from which the entire creation has come. Pareshaya who is beyond this creation as well. Atyatishta dashangulam says Sukhi. Abhidhimahi, he uses the Vedic word dhimahi, as we see in Gayatri mantra, to call out on, or call out Bhagavan. The stuti is much longer, but the stuti ends when Akhilamaramayaha Harihi Adirasi. Bhagavan assumes a form encompassing of all the devatas in himself. That is the reason why we call in Tamil Yanai Adi Moolame the Kathitin Shulva. Yena Adi Moolam, Yella Shedda Adi Moolam. Akilam Aramayaha Harihi Adi Rasi says Bhagavatam. And then when Gajendra sees that Bhagavan with Chakra, Chakra is an indication of Kala Tattva. And he shows Gajendra that he is beyond the Kala Tattva as to who he is. And when Gajendra also realizes he is the very Atma that is Purna, he indicates that by plucking a lotus, which is a Purna Pushpam, and then giving it to the Bhagavan, saying that Bhagavan Purna Madatma Api Purna 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 Mudachyate. That Upanishadic verse is beautifully illustrated here. Grihita artaha drishtva garutmati harimka upata chakram utkshipya sambujakaram giramaha krichrath narayana akhila guru bhagavan namaste. Narayana akhila guru bhagavan namaste. Narayana is the guru in every step of what he has done in all the avatars. In fact, he incarnated as the guru and the sishya called Naranarayana avatara. Because how to show Vinaya towards a guru, how to do guru sususha, Bhagavan himself shows this by doing it and being the guru who received it as well. Dharma Devata's children were Naranarayana Rishis, who we see in Bhadrika Shrama as Bhadri Narayana. They stand there as two great mountains right there. And Bhadrika Shrama is very special to Bhagavad Pada Acharya's parampara because even now, Kerala Nambudris are the ones who do puja in, in Bhadrika Shrama because. Acharya was the one who resurrected that temple again from the ruins and restarted the puja there. And that tradition continues even still today. That is the greatness of the Guru Parampara. Narayana, Akhila Guru Bhagavan Namaste. Narayana is the Adi Guru. In fact, Narayana is the Guru in every avatar he has done. Because 
यदा यदा ही धर्म से ग्लानि ही भवती आत्मानं श्रीजाम्यं आडवर आल्सो पॉइंट्स दिस आउट व्हेन देयर इज अ नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट द साधुस एंड धर्मा हु and the dharma that was followed by the sadhus bhagavan incarnates protects the dharma and protects the people who follow dharma he doesn't stop there he becomes a guru and does tatvopadesha we see that in every avatar of bhagavan shrimad bhagavatam after the tatvopadesha of matsya murti maharaja who received the teacher teaching praises the guru in a very beautiful stotra shri rajo vacha anadya vidyopahatatma sambit tanmoola samsara parishrama turaha yadrichayo papakrita yamapnuyu विमुक्ति दहान परमो गुर्भवादे विमुक्ति दहान परमो गुर्भवादे हैविंग रिसीव्ड द टीचिंग ही इज सो ग्रेटफुल एंड ही प्रोस्ट्रेट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मत्स्यमूर्ति हु इज द गुरु पूर्व भगवान वस गुरु दैट इज हाउ पूर्व पुराण आतम सौ has to to give out the teachings of purma bhagavan varaha purana is there to give out the teachings of varaha bhagavan and the most striking thing that Bha- Bha- varaha bhagavan does in a conversation between bhumi devi and varaha bhagavan there varaha bhagavan is the guru and bhumi devi is the shishya he tells bhumi devi aham smarami mad bhaktam nayami paramam gatim this is a very important aspect that is taken up as a cordial tent in the shri vishnuva tradition where bhagwan guarantees that i will think of the devotee at the time when his sukshma sharira leaves his body and i will impart the knowledge at that point of time and he will gain atma gnana through my grace because antima smriti is emphasized in several shastras including bhagavad gita and what if we cannot do it due to physical constraints and other reasons at that point of time bhagwan says i will remember you and that upadesha along with the all the others makes the alvar call out on varaha bhagavan as jnana piran yena chula yinum aga yedi tirai vayam mootrum yena kuruva idanda piran irin karpagam shervanatta barkum allaga da barkum matru yalla ya barkum jnana ज्ञानपिरास he is equal to everybody in fact the next avatara narsimha avatara where bhagwan is portrayed as somebody who is equivalent to everybody both the asuras as well as the devas whoever does bhakti he he shavas his grace in an impartial way and narasimha bhagwan occupies a very very important place in the advaita tradition narasimha jayanti is celebrated in all the shankara mats and 
Acharya calls out Narasimha as a guru and asks him to give his hand and lift him up. Shri Matpayo Nidhi Niketana Chakra Pane Bhogindra Bhoga Mani Ranjita Punya Murte Yogi Shashashmata Sharanya Bhavabdi Pote Lakshmi Drisimha Mamadehi Karavalam Bam Andhasya me krita viveka mahadhanasya torail mahabali virindriya namadeyayi mohandhakara kuhare vinipatitasya lakshmi drasimha mamadeyayi karavalambam in another stotra, Bhagavad Padacharya puts all the essence of the Upanishads in five beautiful verses and salutes Lakshmi Narasimha. Lakshmi Bhajabhaja Lakshmi Narasimha Padasarasija Makarandam is a refrain. But the idea is extremely Vedantic. Such is the greatness of Narasimha Bhagavan. There are so many other avatars. In fact, Hayagriva avatara is an avatara where we look at Bhagavan as personification of Jnana itself. Jnana nandamayam devam nirmalas patika kritim adharam sarva vidyanam hayagriva upasmahe Ayagriva Bhagavan, Jnana Anandamaya. He holds a Chinmudra and Pustaka like Dakshinamurti showing that he is a Jnana Guru. Every avatar as we see, Bhagavan imports this Atma Jnana. And what would we talk about Rama Avatara? The Dhyanam that is given for Rama Avatara is Rama as a Guru. Vaidehi Sahitam Sudradrumata Lehai Me Mahamantape Madhye Pushpakamasane Mani Maye Virasane Sustitam Agreye Vajayati Prabhanjana Sute Tatvam Munibhya Param Vyakyantam Parada Parivritam Ramam Bhajeshya Madam Ramam Bhaje Bharatadibihi Parivritam Vyakyantam He is looked upon as a teacher. Rama is teaching the people around him. Adhyatma Ramayana begins where Rama imparts the teaching of Atma, Anatma and Paramatma. This discussion is taken by Rama and imparted to Hanuman in Adhyatma Rama. Valmiki looks at it in a mood. When Bharata was in the times of sorrow that an unnecessary blame has been put on him saying that he was going to usurp the kingdom and created a conspiracy with his mother that Pained him like anything. He was not able to come out of that dukkha and he wanted a solace. Yavanna Chandra Sankasham Drakshyami Shubamananam Pratuhu Padma Palashaksham Name Shantil Bhavishyati Yavanna Chandra Sankasham Drakshyami Chubhamananam Pratuhu Padma Palashaksham Name Shantihi Bhavishyati 
नमे शांति भविष्य आई विल नॉट गेन शांति and then he goes and has the darshan of rama and valmiki see shows us what the darshana is was nivikshya samuhurtam tu dadarsha bharato guru utaje rama masinam jata mandala dharinam तम तो कृष्णादी नीताइबिंग दामा दट भरता सॉ बट द विशन दट भरता हेड वॉज द दर्श भरत गुरु Bharata saw his guru and immediately attained shanti because Rama is ava sam shanti hai. The very embodiment of shanti. Rama imparts atma vidya in just a split of a second. There were different levels of adhikaris in Rama. There was Shabari. Who was already a yani? There he goes and asks her, "How is your tapas?" And Adya Prapta tapas siddhi he says, "Shabari, now I have got the fruit of my tapas ya by having your darshan." And with Rama as the sakshi, she leaves this body. Such was the greatness of Shabari, Sharabhanga. and even for somebody like jatayu to the samskara bala rama says i send you to the place where i with my bala i give you that knowledge and not for just people who were associated with him by kain kar diya but also for people who were just the pure rama imparts that knowledge during his avatara because when mandodari comes and looks at ravana in the battle field having been slain by rama and lying down lifeless she goes and throws herself on the body of ram body of rama and profoundly expresses sorrow at that point of time she lifts up her head and sees rama that darshana of rama gives her atma gyan viktam eva maha yogi paramatma sanatana anadi madhya nidano mahatap paramo mahan tamas paramo dhata shanka chakra gadadhara shri vatsa vaksha nitya shri hi शंकचक्रदाधर अनादि निधन महत परमो महान हाउ डज दट पॉसिबल पॉसिबिलिटी कम इन टू एफेक्ट इज जस्ट बै दर्शन ऑफ गुरु रामा वॉट टू टॉक ऑफ कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु वसुदेव सुतम देव भगवत्चार्य इन अष्टक कृष्णाष्ट 
Acharya was extremely attached to Krishna because from his childhood, his mother used to take him to the, to the Krishna temple in Kaladi every day. Kaladi Appan's temple. In fact, when his mother was about to leave her body, Acharya comes to Kaladi again and prays to Krishna asking him to give her darshan. And Aryamba gets the vision of Bhagavan, Krishna. Vinayasya dhyanam prajati pashutam sukharamukam Vinayasya dhyanam janibriti bhayam yati janata Vinayasya smritya krivishata janim yati sa vibhuhu Charanjo lokesho mama bhavatu Krishna Akshi Vishayaha. May that Krishna become an object of my eyes was the pratana of Acharya so that Aryamba also could see. Bhagavan appears and gives her Atmanyana. Acharya itself could have given that. But her, his mother sought that. Because Bhagavan says, Yomam Ajam Anadincha Veti Lokameshwaram Asamudhahasa Martyeshu Sarva Papai Pramuchate. By knowing that Bhagavan, one gets rid of all the papas. Bhagavan gave us the greatest. Of all scriptures, Bhagavad Gita, as a guru, it is Krishna Arjuna Samvada that is recorded by Bhagavan Veda Vyasa. Krishna imparts this knowledge of Atma Vidya not just in one place or Uttara. There is another place where Bhagavan does Gita Upadesha called Uttara Gita and Uddhava Gita, where Uddhava is, in, is given that knowledge, Atma Jnana Bhai Bhagavan. And not just to all the, all, all the learned people like Uddhava and Arjuna. He also gave it to the people who loved him with all their heart. The Gopikas. Many people know that Bhagavan played with the Gopikas. Bhagavan made a lot of pranks with the gopikas. Bhagavan stole their clothes at one instance and refused to give, give it back. Bhagavan stole all the butter from, from the pots that were hanging on top and made a lot of pranks that gave them a lot of joy. Krishna was there in their hearts and nobody could take him away. That pure love, Bhagavan himself says, Mayi bhaktir hi bhutanam mamritatvaya kalpate nishtya yadasin matsneho bhavati nam madapanaha. It is so rare to get that level of sneha and bhakti towards me, O Gopikas, you have got. In fact, Brahma himself says, I want to be born as a blade of grass in Vrindavana to be able to get the prema of this gopis. But Bhagavan just does not leave them like that. After all the his avatar karyas was over, he calls the gopis and then imparts Atma Jnana as a guru sitting there and thus Upadesha to the gopis. Bhagavatam records this. Aham hi sarva bhutana madirantaha antaram bahi hi bhautikanam yatakam var bhurva yur yotiranganaha anganaha jyotihi aham 
ಭೂತಾನಾಮಾಧಿಹೀಯಹಂ ಖಂ ವಾಯು ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಅಹಂ ಏ ಅಂಗನಾಹ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸೀ ಏಂ ಹೇತಿ ಭೂತೇಶ್ ಭೂತೇಶ್ವಾತ್ಮಾತ್ಮನಾಥ ಪರೇ ಪಶ್ಯತ ಭಾತಮಕ್ಷರೆ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ್ಷಯ ಬೈ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ್ಷಯ ಗೋಪ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣೇನ ಶಿಕ್ಷಿತ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ laid the uh, krishna in their hearts in and out they got this instruction by from bhagavan himself tadut tadanusmarana vasta jeeva koshasta madhyagan they left their body with this anusmarana mam anusmara says bhagavan in fact this anusmarana for us to be able to get it shrimad bhagavatam says that is the reason of krishna avatara in in the stuti that devas do before krishna avatara they say this that samsmarayanscha chintayann namani roopani cha mangalani te avishta chetaha na bhavaya kalpate they all cross the samsara just by this anusmarana there are so many other instances where bhagwan imparts this atma vidya in fact when bhishma acharya was ready to leave his body he was reminded of the geeto padesha that bhagwan did to arjuna and he recalled that very picture ವ್ಯವಹಿತ ಪೃಥನ ಮುಖಂ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷ ಸ್ವಜನವಧಾತ್ ವಿಮುಖಸ್ಯ ದೋಷ ಬುದ್ಧ ಕುಮತಿ ಮಹರದ ಆತ್ಮವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಚರಣರತಿ ಪರಮಸ್ಯ ತಸ್ಯಮೇ ಅಸ್ತು ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮವಿದ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾವತಾರ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವತಾರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಸ್ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ ದಿ Vyasa Puja that is done by Acharya that you are seeing, Krishna occupies the central place. In the Kanchi Kamakoti Pita, Vyasa Puja, a beautiful Krishna Murti, a very small Krishna Murti made of silver occupies the central place in the Vyasa Puja, in the, in the mandala that is laid out for Puja with different Panchakams. and krishna panchakam is the center krishna with a beautiful small ball of butter and a dancing hand looks at the acharya and receives this puja and with pradyumna sankarshana vasudeva and aniruddha on all the four and him being the center this is called krishna panchakam this is the first puja that is done this is the main puja that is done in during vyasa puja during this purnima guru purnima narayanam padma bhuvam he saw that bhagwan was guru in every aspect of his and then padma bhuhu in fact that knowledge was imparted by narayana not in a physical verbal way by making him realize himself by making brahma do tapasya bhagavatam elaborates this that brahma who is the birthplace of all the knowledge because he is the veda janma bhumi he is the second teacher in the tradition having received the teaching from narayana in fact the bhagavata purana chata chatushloki bhagavatam as you know is an upadesha given by narayana to brahma so brahma becomes the sec- the shishya and the second teacher yogi hrit padma nilayam nata jeevahite ratam 
ಶ್ರುತೀನಾಂ ಜನ್ಮಭೂಮಿ ತ್ವಾಂ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖಮಹಂ ಶ್ರೇಯೇ ಶ್ರುತೀನಾಂ ಜನ್ಮಭೂಮಿ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ನತ ಜೀವ ಹಿತೇನ ತಮ್ಮ constantly he worries about the creation and any guidance he needs he goes and approaches his guru which is bhagwan that is the nature of brahma every avatar that bhagwan takes is because of the plea that brahma makes from matsya avatar to krishna avatar very beautiful shishya and guru relationship between narayana and brahma and from brahma it becomes a putra parampara brahma creates sanakadis who were gnanis by birth and the dakshinamurti imparted atma vidya to them just by showing the chin mudra and they realized it and they were in reveling in atma around him so srishti was not possible through the sanakadis for brahma but this sanaka panchakam is done puja sanaka sanandana sanat kumara sanat sujata or offered puja because they were all brahma gnanis that were there in the beginning of the creation bhagavan also says in gita bhashya also says sanakadin agre srishtva an prajapati in agre srishtva pravritti dharma dharmam lakshanam dharmam grahayama sa vedoktam nivritti lakshanam dharmam grahayama sa vedo the pravritti nivritti dharma was given out and nivritti dharma was given out to the sanaka 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 sanandana sanat kumara sanat sujata so this panchakam with bhagavan in the center and sanaka sanandana sanat kumara sanat sujata as the four rishis are offered puja in the in vyasa puja by the acharya during this purna vasishta becomes brahma's kumara who takes up the teaching and passes on to his son ಪ್ರಸಮಿತಮತ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರತಿಮಾಜಸ ವಶೀಕೃತ ಪರಂದ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಗುರುಮಾಶ್ರೇ ಯೋಗವಾಸಿಷ್ಠ ಸಚ ವಾಲ್ಮಿನಸ್ ವಾಲ್ಯುಮಿನಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಓ ವೇದಾಂತ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋಗವಾಸಿಷ್ಠ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ greatest teachings that vasishta gives out that why he becomes an atma vidya guru so he receives the teaching from brahma and imparts to his son shakti vasishtam shaktin a very interesting uh, anecdote is uh, narrated in mahabharata about this shakti maharishi he does not live for long but he does something very great and exhibit his atma gnana he was walking uh in a very narrow path and the king of that pradesh was riding in a chariot approaching and there was no way for him to walk the king says step down from the mountain shakti said do not ask i cannot step any further down i will fall off please move your chariot a little bit and we will both have way but the king was so arrogant that he takes a whip and whips shakti maharishi seeing such a characteristic shakti maharishi was astonished and all these maharishis do one thing when they see that anybody exhibits a characteristic that is not pertinent to that of a human behavior they say you become that where this characteristic is not a sin if you behave like a rakshasa get a rakshasa sharira that is the reason why even gajendra when when the when the pandya raja exhibited such a lot of 
head weight or arrogance agastya maharishi thought let him get a body of an elephant where that level of head weight is not a problem and he also thought like that this arrogance of whipping people like that is a rakshasa guna may you get a rakshasa sharira where that guna is not a bhava immediately that king becomes a rakshasa shakti goes and then that rakshasa starts eating humans and he out of a lot of anger he comes and takes shakti maharishi and he was going to swallow shakti maharishi also realizes that this is how he needs to leave his body he re- establishes himself in atma and leaves his body and the rakshasa just dumps his body but before that he does something very very beautiful he his wife is carrying and she is expecting a boy and he imparts the atma vidya to that unborn child such was the power of the maharishi to parashara शक्तौ रूप्यमिवाभाति यद्रूपं मयि कल्पितं शक्त्या परितं येन शक्तिं तं गुरुमाश्रये पराशरा वाज दैट अनबोर्न बेबी दैट रिसाइटेड द उपनिषद मंत्रास एंड देन वशिष्ठा हु वाज इन सच अ सॉरो दैट ही हैड लॉस्ट हिज सन व्हेन ही hears that mantra coming out he is so astonished in fact parashara was a great rishi rishis like markandeya select parashara to be the father of bhagwan who was going to incarnate and divide the vedas there was a great meeting that happens at the end of dwapara yuga and the beginning of kali yuga and all these maharishis are worried that how will this vedic lore be saved such a big vedic lore cannot be given to the people of kali as it is it needs to be made into different parts and given to different groups of people for them to study so that this is not lost for posterity they select parashara and send him and then parashara does tapasya he pleads bhagwan that he needs to incarnate as a rishi and do veda vibhaga that is how veda vyasa was born after he sees bhagwan his tapasya is over he comes down and he was going to cross ganga bear matsya gandhi was sitting there with a boat he gets on the boat and sees her as the mother of bhagwan himself he blesses her saying that there is no physical contact needed for me to be able to bless you with a child bhagwan has selected you as the mother he is going to incarnate now and just in just a second a 16 year old boy appears in front of दंडी कृष्ण परिधारी बॉय अचतुर्वदनो परो अफाललोचन शंभु भगवान बादरायण ही लुक्स लाइक ब्रह्म ही लुक्स लाइक परमेश्वर ही लुक्स लाइक महाविष्णु अचतुर्वदनो ब्रह्म ही इज ब्रह्म विदाउट द फोर हेड फोर हेड्स विभागुर अपरो हरि ही इज महाविष्णु विद टू हैंड्स अफाल लोचन शंभु ही इज परमेश्वर हिमसेल्फ विदाउट द थर्ड आई ही इज परमात्मा हिमसेल्फ हु इनकार्नेटेड एज वेद व्यास भगवान वेद व्यास वाज द रीजन टू फॉर अस टू रिसीव द प्रस्थान त्रय because he is the one who did veda vibhaga and laid out the upanishads and then he made small 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 statements notes 
that were used by brahma vidya guru parampara that were used to give a central idea of the upanishads through different means called the brahma sutras a consistent idea is what is conveyed by the upanishad is the central teaching of brahma sutras and to make even a simpler version of the essence of the upanishads he records bhagavad gita which is the teaching of krishna and gives us in bhagavad gita bhashya acharya said bhagavan vedavyasa collects the teaching in 700 beautiful verses bhagavad pada acharya gives the count of the number of shlokas in bhagavad gita chapta shataihi shlokaihi bhagavan vyasaha nibabandha says bhagavad pada acharya वेदव्यासं स्वात्मरूपं सत्यसंधं परायणं शांतं जितेन्द्रियक्रोधं ससिष्यं प्रणमाम्यहं ससिष्यं प्रणमाम्यहं व्यास पंचकं इस अदर पंचकं दैट रिसीव्स पूजा ड्यूरिंग दिस व्यास पूजा व्यास जैमिनी सुमंतु पैलह एंड वैशंपायनः with all the four sishyas who received the four vedas veda vyasa is in the center and you can see veda vyasa and shankara standing there in the silver plank of, that you see which is from the pillar of bharadraja swami temple in kanchipura where it denotes how acharya gets the blessings of veda vyasa for another 16 years to live in this world as well as an acknowledgement that his commentary is in line with his thought process so vedam vyasa narayanam padmam bam vasishtam shaktim tat putra parasharam cha vyasam and then his son he was a brahma jnani bhai bhai chuka yam pravajan tam अनुपेतमेतकृत्यनो विर कातर आजुहुत्रे तन्मयतयाबोधिने तम सर्वूतहृद मुनिमानी जस्ट बै द दर्शन ऑफ सुखा Dehatma Buddhi vanished from anybody who had his darshan. That is what is the essence of this shloka, because Vyasa was walking, and then he was calling out putra, 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 and oh, and it echoed among the trees. That sounded as though nature himself was answering him, because sarva bhuta krdayam muni mana tosvi. Shuka united himself with universal consciousness. The greatness of Shuka is seen all over Bhagavad. Yadrichaya is the padam that is used in Bhagavatam when Shuka appears before Parikshit, because no tapasya can produce a guru like Shuka. मुनीकंडेय automatically by the tejas of shukha when he comes and gaudapada acharya is said to have received the atma vidya from shukha himself now the shish it becomes a shishya parampara and now we come to acharya panchakam gaudapada acharya गूडामाया वाक्ये वीडिता विलयंगता 
क्रीडंतम विद्यया साधम तो प्रपादम समाश्रये there are very many anecdotes done by kavis without pramana for gaudapada charitra but we do not get a lot of pramana for gaudapada's life as to what it was but we know that he did a beautiful karika and the greatness of that karika is that parts of it is even considered as shruti by madhvacharya such is the greatness of gaudapada acharya and gaudapada acharya imparted this knowledge to govinda bhagavat pada acharya jivesha bheda rahitam navikam bhavavari bhehe bhava bhava vidurastham govindam guru maashraye how did a boy who lived in the tip of kerala which is the south of india know about the greatness of a mahatma who was there in omkareshwar we just have a clue from shankara vidyams in fact in one verse in vivek chudamani acharya says shantaha mahantaha nivasanti santaha वसंतवत लोकहित चरंत कीरा स्वयं भीम भवाव देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ साधु एंड ब्रिंग सच अ पीस एंड जॉय टू द पीपल हूम दे मीट एंड इंपॉर्ट ज्ञान टू दम प्रॉबली अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हू विजिटेड केरला कालडी ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ भगवत पद आचार्य could have informed him about such a great mahatma called govinda bhagavat pada acharya who was in omkareshwar after bhagavat pada acharya gets the idea that govinda bhagavat pada acharya is his guru he immediately decides to give up he just does a play as though a crocodile comes and catches his leg like that of gajendra and his mother says okay you take sanyasa and he takes sanyasa and the crocodile leaves and he promises his mother like how we saw that he came back and he gave her the darshan of bhagwan and imparted atma vidya and he starts walking towards omkareshwar such a boy of 8 years thousands of years ago who did he cross so many kingdoms and forests and rivers mountains and finally get to omkareshwar it is simply astonishing how something that could have been done by acharya just by the simple zeal that he had that he had to go meet his guru that propelled him to climb those mountains and cross those rivers and go across kingdoms and get to govinda bhagavat pada acharya shankara vijayam records the vision of govinda bhagavat pada acharya that shankara bhagavat pada gets the darshana of govinda bhagavat pada acharya tamakila guna purnam व्यासपुत्र शिष्यागत परमागमिशुरेश ब्रह्म संस्थाम प्रसृमर महिमा प्रापमेका in he sees bhagavat pada govinda bhagavat pada acharya he surrenders himself completely he gives up his identity right there and surrenders ananya sharanam sharanam aham prapadye he gives up everything and surrenders at that point of time when the question is asked who are you by govinda bhagavat pada acharya acharya answers 
Because having given up everything, what else is there? Na bhoomil na to yam na te jo na vayu ho na kham nendriyam ma na te sham samuha ha ane kanti katwa susukye ka siddhis tade ko visishtas jiva ke valo hum In fact, another beautiful uh, uh, stotra called Nirvana Shatkam is attributed to Acharya and is have, having been composed at this point of time. Mano buddhya hankara chittani naham na chashrotra jikve na chagrana netre Immediately, Govinda Bhagavad Pada Acharya gives Shankara Bhagavad Pada Acharya proper sannyasa. And keeps him with, he keeps him and he teaches the essence of Upanishads. Having imparted all that needs to be imparted, he asks him to go to Kashi and do all the Bhashya Rachanas to be able to preserve this teaching for posterity. Because until then, this teaching was oral. Now, Bhagavad Pada Acharya is the central figure that records this teaching and gives it intact to us. That is why we consider him as a great pillar in the tradition starting from Sadashiva. The next was Bhagavad Pada Acharya, the greatest. Sadashiva Samarambham Shankara Acharya Madhyama. In fact, it was Bhagavad Pada Acharya. He is not different from Shankara, Shankara, Shankara Sakshad. A beautiful verse that says, just to give us relief from the pangs of Kali, Acharya incarnated. Agyanantar gaganapaditan atma vidyopadeshaihi by giving the teaching of the Atma for, for anybody who is a sincere seeker. He uplifts them. Bhavadavana Bhavadava Shikha Tapa Papa Chamanaihi Mutwa He releases us from the pangs of samsara. Mutwa Mounam Vita Bata Vita Pinaha All these Bhashya Rachanas and Pravachanas done by Acharya is done by Dakshinamurti himself in the form of Acharya, who just left his silence. Muktva maunam vata vita pinaha mulato nishpatanti shambho ho mukho mukti charati bhuvane shankara charya rupa shambho ho mukti charati bhuvane Shankara Acharya Rupa. 
that Shankara Acharya is Shambhu himself. When he does his Vashya Rachanas, four beautiful Sishyas get to him in four beautiful ways. Shankara Vijayam records that Padmapada Acharya, having be a Virakta, travels to Kashi and finds his Guru and surrenders himself to his Guru. You know about the popular incident where Acharya calls him from the other side of the river and when he walks, lotuses pop up to hold his feet. So we call him Padmapada. And in another instance, Narasimha himself comes through him and saves Acharya, as we saw in some of the stutis when we saw Narasimha Avatara as Narasimha Guru. So Padmapada Acharya finds Acharya because he had that jnana and vairagya. Acharya finds Sureshwara Acharya. He goes, knocks his door because Sureshwara Acharya had done with all the karmanushthanas that needs to be done with such a level of chitta shuddhi that Acharya took karunya and thought we need to impart him and bring him to the fold of the Upanishads because a person of such chitta shuddhi should not just be a karmata. That is the karunya of the Acharya. And then the third one, Hastamalaka. Very beautiful. Hastamalaka was a jnani by birth. Hastamalaka was a small boy in a town called Shribali. After visiting Gokarna and other places, Acharya comes there. And then a person called Prabhakara introduces his child saying that he is behaving as though he is deaf and dumb. He is able to hear, but he never plays with his friends. He does not even rebel when they abuse him by hitting him. We are not able to understand him. But Acharya understands him. He asks the boy, Kastum Shisho Kasya Puto Sigan Yumna Mate Kum Uta Agato Si Jetan Mayo Tumbadacha Arbhakatum. Hey, Shisho, Mada, Kastva, who are you? Immediately an answer is given, like how Acharya himself answered to Govinda Bhagavad Pada Acharya. Naham Manushyo Naja Deva Yakshau Nabrahmana Kshatriya Vaishya Shudraha Nabrahmachari Nagrihi Vanastaha Vikshur Nachaham Nija Bodha Rupaha Aham Bodha Rupaha Acharya was so pleased that he got such a jnani as a disciple. He immediately hung him and told his parents, don't, don't bother with him. He is mine from now on. And then the fourth one, as you know, was not the sharpest of all these, but still, just by a glance, Acharya imparted Atma Vidya to Totaka Acharya, as you know. And Totaka Acharya, with all his Vinaya, approaches Acharya and says, Vidita namaya vishadaika kalana chakinchana kanchana masti guru dhritameva videhi krupam sahajam 
ಭವ ಶಂಕರ ದೇಶಿಕ ಮೇ ಶರಣು ಭವ ಶಂಕರ ದೇಶಿಕ ಮೇ ಶರಣು ಹೇ ಪ್ರಭೋ ವಿಧಿತಾನಮಯ ವಿಷದೈಕ ಕಲಾ ವಿಧಿತ ನ ಮಯ ಏಕಕಲಾ ಅಪಿ ನ ವಿಧಿತ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ಅಪ್ರಿಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಈದರ್ ನ ಚ ಕಿಂಚನ ಕಾಂಚನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಗುರು ಧೃತಮೇವ ವಿಧೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ ರೆಡಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶವರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೀ ಶಂಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮೇ ಯು ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ತೋಟಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ರಿಸೀವ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಂಚಕಂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಬೈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಪೂಜಾ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ತೋಟಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹಸ್ತಾಮಲಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಪದ್ಮಪಾಲ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವ್ಯೂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಸ್ ಗುರು ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಗುರು because the popular uh, instance that you know where shishya sapacharya says gacha gacha apasara you move to the chandala and the chandala asks annamayat annamayam athava chaitanyam eva chaitanyat dvijavar duri kartum vanchasi kim bruhi gacha gacheti what are you going to make go away that which it came from the annamaya or the chaitanya chaitanya is achala eka like how we saw at that point of time acharya says brahmai vaham idan jagacha sakalam chinmatra vista aditam ಚಾಂಡಾಳೋಸ್ತು ಸತುಜೋಸ್ತು ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯೇಷ ಮನೀಷ ಮಮ Acharya says that is the Guru. Whoever exhibits this Atma Jnana is a Guru. This Guru Parampara continues. There is a very beautiful work called Punya Shloka Manjari. I have a copy of this here. This Punya Shloka Manjari gives the list of all the acharya starting from bhagavad pada acharya to sureshwara acharya to sarvagnyatman to the present acharya shankara vijayendra saraswati swami of kanchi kamakoti peetha and gives the details of all these acharyas we'll take up this book in some other instance as time is a constraint now but after doing puja to this guru panchaka of bhagavad pada acharya and the four sishyas then the parama guru parameshti guru that panchaka is offered puja mahadevendra saraswati and chandrashekarendra saraswati swami ಪ್ರಖ್ಯಾತೋ ಭುವನತ್ರೇಪಿ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮೀತಿ ಸರ್ವೈರ್ಜನ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಮಹೀಸುರ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿಯಶೋರೆ ವಯಸಿ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಚ ಮಠ ದಂಡ ಗೃಹೀತ್ವ ಯತಿರ್ಭೂತ್ವ ಸಂಸದಿ 
चंद्रशेखर गुरु सेव्यो भवौ सज्जन सिंपल संस्कृत रिटन बै श्री श्री कृष्ण प्रेवि महास्वामी हु वॉज द वन हू फिनिश दिस पुण्य श्लोक मंजरी दिस पुण्य श्लोक मंजरी वॉज रिटन बै सदाशिवेन्द्र हु वॉज द फिफ्टी सिक्स आचार्य ई थिंक एंड देन इट वॉज एडेड बै फर्दर आचार्य and when this grantha was given to shri shri anna he completed it with the missing acharyas that were there until his time and this is the shloka he wrote on mahabharata abhyasya khila shastra sagaram alam nyatva tatitva tatastitva samyaminam brate niyatava mai mauni cha yogeshwara नित्यं चंद्रकलाधरम विहितया भक्त्या समाराधयन्न अन्नाहार विवर्जितोपि सुतराम रेजे प्रभावान भुवि वार्धक्ये वयसि प्रसन्न हृदयो भूत्वा शतं वत्सरं ही लिव्ड फॉर 100 इयर्स ृगशीर्षमास्तपक्षेहास्तिर्वजनताक्षेमात्म as pudukareva has beautifully recorded apara karuna sindhu he is an ocean of apara karuna means an ocean he is an ocean of apara karuna para means an end even for an ocean you can see where the ocean makes waves and then hits the land this ocean you cannot even see a para अपार करुणा सिंधु ज्ञानदम इज्यस ज्ञान शांत रूपिण जस्ट द रूप ऑफ महाप्रियवास ज्ञानम इज अत्यंत शांत एज अ पॉपुलर सॉन्ग दैट वी हियर पार्थु कुंडे इरक तोणद तेरियवाले पार्थु कुंडे इरक तोणद बिकॉज़ इट गिव्स शांति ुणासी ज्ञानद शांत श्रीचंद्रशेखर गुर नारायण श्रीशंकरानंद सरस्वती तिख्या जयेन्द्र से तो शिष्यवर्य आरुह्य पीठ सोती समस्त कल्याण गुणाभिराम कांचीपुरे भ्राजमो नरनायण विव जयेन्द्र विजयेन्द्राख्यौयतिराजो भजाम्यहम चंद्रार्क विजयताचार्यापरा so that we continue to get this blessing from our existing acharya who is not different from the previous acharya who is not different from bhagavat pada acharya who is not different from parameshwara himself that is how we look upon this tradition sada shiva samarambham shankara acharya madhyamam asmada acharya paryantam vande guru param did that let us do this marana of this entire guru parampara and as a sadaka what could we do during this chaturmasya is that we could study some work of bhagavad pada acharya or of bhagwan himself like bhagavad gita just a page of bhagavad gita 
or a chapter of Bhagavad Gita, or here, a chapter of Bhagavad Gita, and so on, on a daily basis during this Chaturmasya. With that plea, I conclude this Bhashanam today. Manganam Sadguru Bhyostu Vaishnave Bhyostu Manganam Manganam Madhavayas to Premikayas to Manganam Janaki Kantas Maranam Jaye Ramarama Opika Jeevanas Maranam Govinda Govinda Sadgurunat Maharajiki Jay Sri Guru Bhyonamaha on behalf of KKSF, our extreme gratitude to Aravind Hariharanji for a wonderful exposition on Guru Mahima during this auspicious Ashada Masa following the Ch Chatur Masa Vrata Sankalpam by our Acharyas. I believe what we heard from Arvindji is the most authentic version of what really happens during the Chaturmasya Vyasapurnami, specifically the Vyasapurnami Puja at the, uh, at the Matam, Sri Matam. Um, I believe he has been one of the fortunate ones to have been personally present at the Mantavam in Srimatam during Mahapiriva's times. What a bhagya, what more could we ask, have, had asked for? And we are he hearing from him the first hand account of how the Vyasa Puja Mandala is set up. We heard from him the various Panchakas, the Krishna Panchaka, the Guru Panchaka, the Acharya Panchakas, and uh, Vyasa Panchakas, and so on. Each one of these itself is in itself a gem and worth um, diving into in great detail. But at, at least we have a bird's eye view of how the Guru Mandala is, uh, is, is worshipped during the Vyasa Purnami. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen videos, video recordings of our Sri uh, Periva performing pujas for hours and hours together, performing the Vyasa Purnami Puja for hours and hours together. I believe it's about a five hour procedure. And we got a very wonderful description of that from thanks to Arvindji during this discourse. Besides that, this is loaded with gems that we could only uh, have hoped for during this auspicious few weeks following the Guru Purnima during the Chatur Masyavatam, such as the various verses from Guru Stuti being quoted, as well as his reference to the various Acharyas of our um, esteemed Sri Matam Guru Parampara using, uh, quoting the Punya Shloka Manjari creation, composition by, I believe, the 50 58th Acharya and compiled and completed by later Acharyas, including Sri 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 Annaji. It's again our extreme good fortune that we had this wonderful discourse. I would like to thank Arvindji once again on behalf of KKSF. We're also thankful to all of you, the audience members who have been supporting us. Please do continue to support us. Uh, we look forward to your satsangam at future KKSF events. Thank you. Jai Jai Shankara. Hara Hara Shankara.